my second video after Aquatella and my first video after that gargantuan shout out from Paul Caffaro. Paul Caffaro, if you're watching this, thank you so much. I went from 55 subscribers to 1.2 thousand subscribers in a week. Thank you to all the new subscribers and everyone who commented on my latest video. All of those comments were very, very nice. My goal is to keep you here and keep you interested in the things that I do. Let's get into the video. Big thank you to Chris's Pet Shop for selling me this Pac-Man frog. Very, very beautiful Pac-Man frog. Hi, I'm Abel. This is Animal Guy Abe. I'm going to show about escaping, getting to know animals, and showing you the right way to take care of them. And today, we got back from Aquashella yesterday. I got a Pac-Man frog in this temporary house that he is in right now. He just is burrowed over here. And today, we are going to be giving him his home until he gets older, which when he gets older, we were switching to a 10-gallon tank. What we got is a Zoom Med heater, and it is used for small enclosures and is used for hermit crabs, reptiles, and anything related. This is a water dish. And if you ever get a small frog like this, you will need to keep the dish shallow because one of my frogs, the African bullfrog that I have showed, in previous videos passed away because of too deep a water dish. This is the substrate we are going to be using. It is Repti soil from Zoomed. And you may be thinking, Ava, why do you have so much? It's just a five gallon tank. Well, Pac-Man frogs love to burrow. So you need four to six inches of substrate. So this will do perfect. I'm gonna pour it in now. I know what you're thinking, it's too much. It's not. They love to burrow. But now I'm going to attach the heater to the bottom of the tank. You can also put it on the side, but I like to put my heaters on the bottom. So now I'm gonna put this moss in. This was also another bag of moss that I'm gonna put that in later because that's where he is right now. Or she, I don't know. Moss is good with um, amphibians because it absorbs moisture and keeps it in for them to be on the ground <clears throat> when they are on the ground. Now I'm going to put on the background. So I've been experimenting on where I should put the stuff and how I should put it. <clears throat> we got these leaves. This hide, the water bowl, of course. So first, I'm gonna put in the hide. It's going right in the corner. I'll put it in the water bowl. And then the leaves. These are just artificial leaves because we're not, we don't have a light for this tank. And with Pac-Man frogs, you can either have a UVB light or you can dust their food in calcium because the UVB light gives them calcium on them. And when you dust their food in calcium, that will ingest calcium into them. And I am just dusting their food with calcium. So now it's done. And we're gonna put this guy in. This is a tiny little baby Pac-Man frog. His name? It's Bartholomew. So now we will put him in. I do not recommend handling frogs 
with just your hands because they can soak up oils from your skin. So it is best to use something else like wearing gloves or just pick them up with something else. He's in. He will move somewhere else. So now that I have the moss from his temporary enclosure, I'm going to put that in. So now I filled the water bowl with water and it's ready for him to use. So these guys, they have a very open diet. They can eat many things, uh, including crickets, doobie roaches, hornworms, Specific worms, I do not remember what kind of worms, but there's some types of worms that they can eat and some types of worms that they cannot eat. If you are getting worms for this guy to eat, you need to get it from the pet store, which are used for amphibians and reptiles. And I also got this lid for him to keep the moisture in. I hope that this video showed you that Pac-Man frogs are low maintenance, easy beginner amphibians for anyone to have. I hope that you like, subscribe, and share. Bye.